less than a minute to go in the hockey game. Here comes Eric Bolt to center ice. Waits and then shoots it in as Fitzpatrick tried to get him going. Rob Bulick behind his own net. Now behind the play. Let's see here. We've got Irwin. And is it Blaine Fitzpatrick that's uh, tied up with him? Who else, right? <laughs> Irwin starts wailing away. Blaine Fitzpatrick trying to throw some bombs, but he's got a sweater draped over his head. And Irwin finally goes down to the ice, and Blaine Fitzpatrick isn't done yet. Scott McBride has to hold his arm. And the Sarnia Sting here on the bench trying to rub it in now as they look across the way. But Blaine Fitzpatrick is bound and determined to get some revenge on Irwin, who just started wailing away on him behind the play. And he got he got Blaine's uh, sweater up over his head, so Blaine was basically fighting blind. And the first time he saw anything was when he ended up on the ice with a linesman on top of him. Number 28, Richard Irwin, does a show for the fans. Says, he and Blaine Fitzpatrick go at it, and now somebody behind the Sarnia bench giving it to Delmore, and uh, Irwin yapping away at one of the uh, fans there as he goes to the Sarnia dressing room, but I don't see the point of that. I don't see how uh, some of the Sarnia players are talking to a couple of the fans back there. Somebody's said something to trigger this off. Somebody throwing something or? Well, I think it's more or less a verbal barrage, which we cannot repeat on the air. And I think the uh, <laughs> well, we could. security people have found the culprit and they will be promptly escorted out of the building with 43.4 seconds left to go in the hockey game. The Sarnia Sting have this one in control leading by a score of 6-2, to two, but it's getting a little ridiculous with the stuff going on after the whistle. Blaine Fitzpatrick and Richard Irwin, the latest combatants. Oh, I, I didn't get a, a, an attendance uh, announcement for tonight. I figure we're close to about 3,500 for this game, but that was a pretty good crowd. Yeah, about half of them are gone now, though. So it appears as though everything has settled down, and uh, hopefully they can refrain from any stupidity after they drop the puck here. As the game approaches the three-hour mark, but any time the Sioux and Sarnia play, you got to expect the game to go at least three hours. I brought an extra sandwich. Did you? Oh, yeah. All right, it looks like we're all set for the draw. The Sarnia Sting lead it by a score of 6-2. to two. 